All right, so for those who may not know you yet, introduce yourself and talk about your basketball journey thus far. Yeah, I'm Johnny Furphy. I'm 18 years old and I come from Australia and I play for Basketball Australia's Centre of Excellence. So talk about that experience with the Centre of Excellence so far. How has that helped your development? What's the culture like? Just give us some insight on that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, coming into this kind of environment where we get to live together, train every day together, it's like the best place you can be for basketball. I think it's just helped me tremendously. Uh, just being able to develop my body, my game, like every day, it's just been, it's been great for my development. Absolutely. Do you have a, a basketball background in your family? Did anybody else play basketball? Uh, my older brother initially. Uh, he's five years older than me, and I think I kind of followed his footsteps playing and yeah just recently got to play on the same team together which is pretty cool great. yeah but just my older brother that's it and where does he play now uh he just plays locally for a club but he chose not to go to college gotcha yeah he's still just staying around the game kind of yeah yeah a little bit a little gotcha. bit yeah. yeah all right so what is maybe some advice you shared with you along the way which kind of developed your basketball uh yeah i think the big thing was he's always a lot bigger than me just kind of learning how to use my body, um, just work ethic, I think it was a big thing, just kind of unseen work. But yeah, just being dedication, dedicated. So talk about that work ethic a little bit. Like, uh, what does that look like for you? Um, yeah, I think just just kind of like being a bit robotic, you know, just like it might, might not be fun, but just working every day and the work, you know, the improvements might be unseen, but like it won't come straight away, just trusting that it will come eventually and yeah. Yeah, for sure. And talk about, let's talk about on the court a little bit. Yeah. What are some strengths of yours and what are some areas you're looking to improve? Uh, I think one of my big strengths is my versatility. Um, look, like generating my offense from my defense, you know, just being really disruptive on the defensive end. And then, yeah, looking to attack, be really aggressive on the offensive end. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. you were disruptive this entire week. It feels like um, generating like, multiple steals a game, you get blocks. So, where does that motor come from? Like you weren't taking any plays off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think it's something I really enjoy. It's just a part of the game I just love. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so you just do it because you love it. Mm, yeah. Uh, I respect that. And um, what are maybe some underrated aspects of your game? Uh, I think, you know, my lane running, um, just being able to like, get a rebound, bust out, uh, and just put some pressure on the ring. Yeah, you yeah. had a few really nice, like, poster dunks too. Yeah. Uh, is that kind of that balance something you've always had, or is that relatively? Uh, I think it's relatively new. Yeah, it's something I've been working on. Yeah. Cool. And uh, do you have any other interests outside of basketball? Uh, yeah, Australian rules football, which is yeah. uh, our local sport in Australia, but at the moment just basketball. Do yeah. you uh, play that at all for fun? Or no, I did uh, in my junior years, okay. but now it's just strictly strictly basketball. Strictly basketball. Got yeah. it. And uh, so let's talk about recruitment a little bit. Uh, obviously, you said three class in 2024. Mm. Have you been in contact with any colleges? Is that something you're looking at? Are you maybe going to do NBL? Like yeah, yeah. I think for a long, for a long time now, my goal has been to play college, um, and I chose to reclassify it to class 2024, uh, primarily because I thought it'd be really beneficial, um, getting an extra year, considering I'm pretty young for my for my age, uh, for my year. Um, just working on my body, working on my game would be really beneficial, but at the moment just kind of seeing what options pop up and then yeah, deciding. So, gotcha. What would you potentially be looking for in a college of choice? Um, yeah, it's something I'm still kind of deciding at the moment. Um, just kind of weighing up the options, seeing the best fit somewhere. Yeah, just the all around vibe, I think. Yeah, yeah. So just kind of getting oriented with the process and yeah. familiar with everything. That's right. And uh, what kind of culture would you be looking for? I know it's still early, but uh, like, what environment do you succeed in from like a locker room standpoint? Uh, yeah, I think just a big like team environment. You know, it's no one's putting themselves self before anyone else. Just unself unselfish culture. I think that's something where I'd, somewhere I'd thrive in. So is that the type of teammate that you are? Yeah, I'd say so. Right, gotcha. Yeah. And um, all right, let's go for a couple more. So. At the end of the day, if you had to be remembered for something, what would you want to be remembered for? Uh, I think just being a good teammate and yeah, just being an aggressive player. Okay. Yeah. And if uh, if you woke up to find a fortune in your bank account, where you got NBL contract, NBA contract, what would you use that money for and why? Ooh, tough question. Not sure. Ah, oh, I don't know. I think it'd be a couple of different things. Not something I've thought about yet. No. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. And um, all right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Appreciate, awesome. appreciate your time and uh, congratulations.
Congrats on the championship W. Appreciate it.